So i just like to start by clearing something up. A friend of mine came up to me and said, Yo, mate, I saw your video. I'm like, I thought it was really funny, but um, there's definitely parts you made up. Like the part about the Mank show and Shiloh Pitt. Like, I know Shiloh Pitt. It's not a real person because no one has that name of Shiloh. First of all, I'm going to say that for anyone else who lives under a rock, Shiloh Pitt is Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's kid. Shia, get the net. Additionally, the other Mank show does exist. I found it, I watched it, and it is exactly what I said it was. For both of those things, proof, links in the sidebar. Just take a look right, right there, okay? Oh yeah, check it out, I shaved. He's a jackass. So did anybody see what Whoopi Goldberg said on The View about Roman Polanski? Of course not, nobody watches The View, so I'll provide a little clip. What I am saying is he did not rape her because she was aware and the family apparently was a man. Now, throwing the whole statutory element of it to the side for a second, that could be a potentially valid point. However, she goes on to say, Well, I don't know if it was consent. Well, then it was rape. It was something else, but I don't believe it was rape rape. What? Are you serious? One more time? It was something else, but I don't believe it was rape rape. This isn't some middle school crush where it's like, do you like her or do you like like her? There's rape and then there's not rape. There's no rape, and then there's rape rape. But let's start by going through the facts here. First, he was reported to have given her champagne and quaaludes. Now, I know you're thinking to yourselves, what are quaaludes? I'm glad you asked. Quaalude was first synthesized in India in 1951, and later used in Britain commonly as a sedative. Now, the usual effects include relaxation, <laughs> euphoria, and drowsiness. <laughs> also, it reduces your heart rate and respiration. Thanks, Professor Mank. Then the girl testified that she repeatedly said no, but Roman Polanski didn't stop, committing numerous sexual acts as she protested. Now, between the alcohol, the quaalude, and her repeated protests, I think there's enough evidence to call this rape. Well, that's all I have to say for today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I know I did.